talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Teddy, we know that the body work's going to be there from Cotto, but what else should we be looking for from him? Well, you should also be looking for sometimes a little adjustment. Cotto, when he has the box, when he has to change it up. Oh, that uppercut got him battling. Good job on the two-punch combo by Miguel Cotto. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. Tim Bradley scored upon by a left hand. He's trying to get some energy back, and now he's tying up his opponent, just wasting some minutes. Yeah, it takes two to tangle, though. He's wasting minutes, and his opponent's going along with it. He's cooperating. He shouldn't be. He's going to be sorry later when he recovers and he gets after him. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Miguel Cotto. He just missed that shot up top. When you have a lot of speed, how effective can a feint be? Oh, boy, it could be really effective because the opponent is keyed up already. Before the bell even rings, he's jumping out of his shoes. He's waiting for something to come quick. So you let him think it's coming, he's going to react to it. And then you go get him. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Miguel Cotto. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Bradley's nice at work. his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Able to cover up that gut. Stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that. Here's how you did it. How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just the big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. Great movement to get away from those punches. Bradley's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Big right hand. Covers up nicely. Gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Huge uppercut from Cotto. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Off the target by Miguel Cotto. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Halfway through round number two. There's a good example of Tim Bradley's jab setting things up. Good combination to the head. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Bradley's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Good right hand. Blocks away that headshot. Tim Bradley's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Number two, Cotto's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Bradley's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Toto's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Right back at him with a left hand. I shake it off. Good D 
defense just covering up down low. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Watch that. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Combo lands upstairs. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Nothing there on the punch by Miguel Cotto. A big right hand lands from Cotto. Took a shot, now he gives a left. when he's at his very best. Well, Teddy's scorecard has him up around, but we're yet to get into the meat of the matter of this fight. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah. Oh, and there you go. And he is down and in bad shape. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Well struck, solid combination by Miguel Cotto. Unload right now, more punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Oh, what kind of punching is this? I mean, he's got nothing on these shots. He's so hurt. You know, his natural instinct is to attack back. Right now, he's got to fight against that natural instinct. Right now, teaching has to come in. You know, instructions from the past where he just covers up and he survives. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Get up, get up, get up, come on, get up. Cotto's now getting back up off the canvas. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Miguel Cotto. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Tim Bradley's punch didn't come close. Miguel Cotto is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that punch. Miguel Cotto's combination punching is working well here. Bradley's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Oh, you got this one. Miguel Cotto. Solid. Hey, Cotto. Come on, man. Get a 